sworn enemies of Earth. Possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. understand the deeper levels of where it's coming from. Open your mind. What's behind it is to understand how we get, how we, uh, get rid of it, how we remove it, how we deal with it. Because if we think that we're going to deal with this within the five sense world of visible light, forget it. That's like trying to change a movie by uh, changing the movie screen or changing what's on the movie screen you're not going to do that open your mind you've got to go to the back of the theater and change the reel you've got to change where it's coming from because the screen is just a projection of where it's coming from it not only uh, shows where it's actually coming from ultimately it's showing therefore what we can do about it at the source of where it's coming from uh, because at the moment um, so much uh, conspiracy research is is and, and it's right that it should be i mean i do it all the time i've been doing it for 20 nearly 25 years nearly but it's it's on the five sense level of the play out world open your mind but if we only know about that we are literally researching and writing about the movie screen rather than what's being projected or where it's being projected from and uh, thus we are more like a uh, movie correspondents uh, uh, and movie critics rather than actually getting deep deep into where it's coming from and thus being able to change the reel open your mind it's a fascinating area um, of how we are being manipulated to create the movie <laughs> and um, if we know how that's being done um, then we can stop creating the movie for those that are manipulating us to do it. Open your mind out there and oh, what's he talking about? It's real, real simple. But the, sim the simple nature of it comes by connecting the dots and, and looking at the real nature of uh, so-called physical reality. Open your mind, then it can be simply explained what's going on, how it's being done. Open your mind. One of the most profound and powerful ways of keeping people in the box, in keeping people in a perception prison, is to dictate and manipulate their sense of the possible. It's that simple. Open your mind, because if you can suppress and dilute someone's sense of the possible, it means that anything that is actually happening outside of their sense of the possible is by reflex action dismissed as crazy impossible for instance and that means when you've got a suppressed sense of the possible that you do not have an alternative to the lie open your mind if your sense of the possible does not at least encompass the possibility that um, people can be uh, mind manipulated. If you can't encompass the possibility of, uh, of that possibility, open your mind. So all the time, uh, collectively and individually, our sense of the possible is being squeezed because I'm talking about things happening and being behind this ultimately that are outside their sense of the possible. Open your mind then you are open to all possibility. It doesn't mean that you're going to believe everything or anything just because it's there. Open your mind. But po the point is, you do not dismiss it by reflex action. Uh, no more research. In fact, no research at all. Nothing. It's just outside your sense of the possible. Thus, it cannot be real. And anyone talking about it, they must, by definition, be, be crazy or, or, or trying to have people on. Open your mind. And, and thus... Um, conspiracy research to a very large extent while it does a great job within the area that it operates often 
um, is still a belief system that has walls around it. Um, and, and so they will, it, it's ironic really, that they will see the mainstream of people who dismiss any idea of a conspiracy as asleep and close-minded, and they say to them, open your mind. But open your mind how far, mate? How, how, how far, as, far, as far as you've opened it, there's a conspiracy within five cents reality and banking and politics and manipulated wars and terrorist events. So that, that far? Or, 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 or do they have permission to really, really open their minds to possibilities beyond that? Oh, no. If you go beyond my sense of the possible, then you must be wrong. So all this is going on all the time. And it's like a, a holographic kind of... Uh, situation where every part of, of the whole is a smaller version of the whole. Open your mind. While the whole, in, in terms of mainstream society, may have a much more suppressed sense of the possible and sense of, you know, what is happening. And, and someone here who's doing a bit some conspiracy research might have a slightly wider perception of the possible. They still have walls around their sense of the possible. And once you do that, then then you're in a box. It might be a slightly bigger box than the people that you're trying to wake up, but it's still a box. Open your mind. If you can tell me if what you believe, if you can give me a name to what you believe, you're in a box. If you have a truly open mind, truly open heart, uh, and access innate intelligence, then um, you do not have a name that you can give to what you believe, because you actually don't believe anything. See people find it difficult when I say to them I don't believe anything open your mind what I have at any point in time is a perception of how things are but I know that given we live in uh, the forever of infinity that whatever I know there is always vastly more to know open your mind because I know that whatever I know, there's always more to know. So uh, rather than to have a belief system, you have a, a sense of perception of how things are. If, you, if you're really open-minded, then something will come along to push you a bit further. It, your, your, your overall themes might still be uh, pretty much the same, but you're, you're, you're uh, a bit more understanding of this bit of detail, bit that, and everything starts to move and continues to move. Because you, people can get so focused on um, dots, so focused on constant bombardment of repeating bloody information that they receive. You can't see the obvious, but look out at the, um, at the night sky, and you look out of all, all those lights and all the rest of it. You look at the depth of um, um, what is uh, seen to exist, at least at some level, within this universe alone, and you're telling me given that that is just a tiny frequency band uh, called visible light within the great infinity of forever. You're telling me, Mr. Christian, you're telling me, Mr. Muslim, you're telling me, Mr. Judaism, that all I need to know about the infinity of reality is between the covers of one book. Open your mind. You put it in that... Um, stage in that uh, scale, it is insane, it is ludicrous to believe that that is all we need to know. And there's a great deal of conspiracy research, particularly in the United States, which is still, still locked in to those two covers, you know. Open your mind, and, and thus those two covers act as a, a ball and chain when it comes to understanding the greater uh, infinity of knowledge that's waiting to be tapped into. And also, you know, although there might not be a conspiracy a Bible written, five cents level conspiracy Bible, it, it does exist in the minds of so many in that, you know, this is how it is. You know, it's just the Bilderberg Group and, and secret societies and it's the Rothschilds and it's the royal families of Europe. and It's all of those things, but it ain't only those things. They are still um, the, uh, the oil rags of the whole thing. They're still the people playing it out. They're not the origin of it. Yeah. And, and that's when you really need to take the lid off the mind and let it go where the music and the information takes you and not censor yourself by your rigid belief. Open your mind. For me, 
it's your point of attention. Um, if someone says to me, who are we? I would reply, we are a point of attention. If that point of attention can span into infinity. And, and that person will have a totally different perception of their lives and reality. What I see is that it is trying to hijack our point of attention. So it's like, look at this, uh, uh, watch this, open your mind. It's all five sense stuff, which is trying to entice your point of attention and hold it in the five senses. And it's like a, a holographic kind of uh, situation where every part of, of the whole is a smaller version of the whole. Open your mind 